Hello and welcome to this very quick and easy tutorial of using ChatGPT4 to make a link bait page on your website. So it turns out that ChatGPT is absolutely amazing at making tools. So I made this tool a while back using ChatGPT3, but the problem is the tool didn't work. So I had to abandon the project and but today I came back to this project using ChatGPT4 and the results are incredible so the impressions you can see now are what i'm going what i'm going to have in the future with this page and the point of this page is twofold number one to just generally increase the seo and i did that by basically it's a suit size calculator okay and at the bottom what i did was i put a piece of information talking about our suit brands with some links to our suit brands so the idea behind this is to try and get links to this page, but it could also just be to rank this page on its own, which will give me some page rank, and then I can give the page rank to these other pages here. So let's talk a little bit about, well, first of all, let's see this in action. So I'm 176 centimeters. I think I'm about 80 kilograms, and I would say I'm an average build. My suit size is 52 or 54. Okay, so it's giving me a 50, of course. So that's maybe I'm not average and maybe I'm large and that hasn't changed anything. I would say I'm 50, 52, 54. It depends on the brand, but I would definitely say that this is a little bit low for me personally. Um, so it's not quite perfect, but it does say that it's an estimator. So yeah, definitely keep bear that in mind. So I'm going to be using this prompt, okay? Um, basically, I... This prompt is kind of really specific to what I'm doing, but you can just tailor your prompt to whatever you want to do. So I want you to write a piece of custom Shopify liquid uh, code that will create an Italian suit size estimator. So you can just change this to, if you're on WordPress, you can make a widget or you could just make a plugin or whatever it might be. ChatGPT4 can basically do any of those things. This estimator will take people's height, weight, and build as an input, small build, average build, large build, for example, and it should output a number based on Kiton and Cesare Attolini measurement systems, which include a drop for each suit. The numbers range from 42 to 62, and the drop options should be C for corto, R for regulare, and L for lungo. I Okay, so I'm adding this little bit at the bottom here. Um, because this would have saved me hours earlier today because I, I couldn't get it to work. And the reason was because ChatGPT4 didn't realize that I was using Dawn theme, which uses a different system to the one it was originally using. So make sure that you tell it your theme. The more information you give ChatGPT4, the better the tool output will be. So I'm going to press enter here and I'm just going to see what it comes up with. But I have already done this, and as you can see, it is already semi-functional. Okay, so let's just follow the steps while it's creating this. So let me just go on my Shopify. Okay, so unfortunately, I can't get on Shopify right now because I had to reset my computer the other day, and I've lost basically everything. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through this, and let's see what it actually says. So to create a custom Italian suit estimator for your Shopify store, you'll need to add some HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to your store's theme code, along with a small liquid snippet. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to create the estimator. First, create a new section file in your theme. Go to Shopify Admin, Themes, click Actions, Edit Code. Click, add, by the way, this would be amazing just for making YouTube videos. Like, honestly, just, <laughs> the, the, I can't believe how good this is. Click add a new section and name it Italian suit size estimate. Add the following code. So basically what this is, this is everything except one important part, which is add your custom logic for calculating suit sizes using your system. Okay. So what I need it to do is I, I need it to give me that code because obviously this isn't enough. So what I'm going to say is please, please give me uh, custom logic for calculating suit size based on the kit and the measurement systems. So let's see if that actually works. Okay, great. So I apologize for not providing the, I cannot provide a precise calculation for suit sizing based on the kit and the measurement systems as they have proprietary methods for calculating sizes. I, that's not really true, but however, I can provide you with a generic example based on uh, height, weight, and build. You may need to adjust the logic to better align with the specific 
uh, sizing guidelines of Kiton and Cesare Tallini, replace the calculate size function in the previous code with the following logic. So what that means is you can just, uh, th this is the function here, okay, F function calculate size. All I'm going to have to do is edit this code into one big code. So I'm going to, I don't have Visual, Stu uh, Visual Studio code. Okay, so on Visual Studio Code, I'm just going to add a new text file. I'm going to call this exactly what it told me to call it. So let's go back on here and let's see what I should be calling this. So it should be called Italian Suit Size Estimator. So this is going to be a section in Shopify later, but I've completed. Okay, so this is going to be the base of our system. You can do this directly into Shopify, obviously. I'm just doing it here for this video because I can't get into my Shopify at the moment but this is known as schema this is only really relevant to shopify but what i'm showing you in this video is relevant to every single cms you just have to change the wording of the prompt effectively so this is going to be the calculate size function so we'll just copy this here and what we're going to do is we're going to look for that function here so function calculate size and then we're going to remove this and um, we're going to paste this and we'll get rid of that. Okay, so as you can see, now we've got that code in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, this is great, but can you give me some modern style CSS uh, to style this suit estimator? So what this is going to do now is it, we're going to add some CSS to this. On Shopify, this is super simple. You can just add custom CSS now on the um, on the div or on the section, sorry. I will have a video showing you exactly how to do this on Shopify, but it's not. this video is not really about Shopify. So the really amazing thing about this and something that I've noticed and something that's confirmed as well is that it seems like it's reading further back. And ChatGPT4 is actually capable of reading double the amount of um, tokens that 3.5 is able to do, which is super amazing for us. And when this is complete and when it can literally read 50 pages of content, that is when this is just going to be the most insane game changer. And also when it can write a little bit faster. However, the fact that it can now code correctly, and this is confirmed as well, this is something that they talked about. So OpenAI, ChatGPT4 coding. If you watched the um, the announcement, basically. Yeah, so this video here, guys, I highly recommend you give this video a watch. But basically, I was watching this video yesterday, and this guy, I don't know his name, I apologize, um, was saying that, this kind of task, this like uh, creating a little tool that can help you get backlinks, um, didn't really work on ChatGPT 3.5. But he was saying that on ChatGPT 4, like the logic is just so much better. And that's exactly what I wanted. And that's exactly what, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I needed to make a tool like this. So I'm going to call this Italian suit size. Can I do dot CSS? Yeah. I can. And I'll put the CSS here. And then obviously all you need to do on Shopify specifically, but on any CMS is you need to add this front page code and then you need to add the CSS and then you need to render the section. But yeah, that's not really in the scope of this video. I just wanted to talk specifically about the fact that ChatGPT can code a tool for you and just think about all the different codes, all the different tools that you can make in your niche. Okay. So just remember, make sure that you mention your CMS, so Shopify, make sure you mention your theme, make sure you mention the version that you're on, make sure you give ChatGPT4 all the information it needs to give you the complete package, because otherwise it will give you something that doesn't work on your specific version of Shopify or WordPress or whatever it might be. And then the final thing in this video is I want to just quickly show you. So if you do suit size cal calculator on Google. Let's see if we're here. Two men is not here. However, if I put the word Italian here, then potentially, yes, we are here. So Italian suit size calculator, Italian suit size calculator. Perfect. I'm not saying this is like a massive keyword or anything. I'm just happy to see that the keyword is here. 
make sure you add some kind of spammy in internal link type things. Like if I go here, um, yeah, you can see that this content is, I'm trying to rank this content as well. I actually got ChatGPT to write this. I got it to write it using HTML. Um, so if I just go on ChatGPT again, you can see here that I said, here's an HTML section that includes links to the mentioned suit brands pages. Sorry, what I said was, can you write a section using HTML that will link my most important suit brands that adhere to this system? It needs to just start with a P tag and end in a P tag. And it did this for me. So this content here was super easy to write as well. And then the tool ChatGPT4 also made for me. And I've got to say, I'm insanely impressed because this thing really does work. This should be like a size, I would say, this is like huge. This should be size 58 or 60, 58 L. Yeah, that's literally the perfect size, okay? That's it, guys. I really wanted to make this video because I made a video yesterday saying that ChatGPT was slow, but sometimes things are better when they're slow and just more effective. And that's exactly what ChatGPT is for, seems like it is. What you could do now with this page is you could do some outreach. You could email 10,000 people in the niche saying, look, I see that you're selling suits, but maybe um, they don't have a suit calculator. So you can say you can use this link to our suit calculator if you want. That's a really good way to collect some backlinks. I know that I say backlinks aren't that important, but if you can get 10,000 backlinks on a page, it's not going to hurt your website. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon with some more content and peace out.